Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to customize your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. You can follow along in your own QuickBooks subscription. If you don't have a subscription yet, you can click on the link below this video to get 50% off for three months. So let's get started talking about your chart of accounts. Uh, this is a very important step. You want to make sure you get your chart of accounts properly organized before you start recording transactions. Once you record a transaction in an account, you're not able to delete the account. So spend some time up front to solve a lot of headaches in the future. You're rarely going to have to start your chart of accounts from scratch. If you are transferring from another software system, you can export your chart of accounts from that system and import them into QuickBooks Online. And I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Um, if you're starting a brand new business, as you set up QuickBooks Online, it'll ask you information about your business and it'll use that information to create a chart of accounts for you and then of course you'll want to go in there and customize it. So let's talk a little bit about how the chart of accounts works in QuickBooks and how you can customize it. So let's go to our settings, this cogwheel in the upper right corner and then under the your company let's go to chart of accounts. So this is the chart of accounts for all the accounts that we already have set up. A couple of fields here, so notice the number. Um, if you don't want to use account numbers, you don't have to. Um, or if you want to use them and that column is not there, you can turn them on. So to turn them on, uh, let's go to the cogwheel again. And we're going to go to your company, account and settings. And then advanced. and then under advanced we can go to chart of accounts and then right here we can toggle oops go to advanced and then here we can toggle on and off our account numbers if you have the account numbers on make sure you also click show account numbers otherwise they won't appear in your chart of accounts okay so we can click done good and now we have our account number for our chart of accounts. Okay, uh, the name of your account can be whatever you want to name it. The type and detail type, uh, these are preset selections within QuickBooks Online. When it creates an account for you, it'll choose um, the type and detail type. However, you can change that. And these are very important because certain account types and detail types have certain functions within QuickBooks Online. So you want to make sure that you get these uh, proper. So for instance, this company checking account is a bank and it's a checking account. And it needs to be set up that way in order to be able to hook up electronically with your bank and establish a live bank feed. You know, so another example is inventory. The inventory asset has to be set up as other current assets and inventory so that when you buy and sell inventory you can track quantities, average cost, things like that. So you want to pay careful attention as you set up your accounts. So how do you set up a new account? Let's start there. Let's go up here to the green button, new, click new and we can add a new account. Now here's where you really want to spend some time learning about all the different account types available and detail types available. So here are different account types and within each account type there's going to be different detail types. So let's look at other current assets. What other types of other current assets do we have? Read through here and kind of get an idea of what detail types go with what account types. So this is not going to be a quick process. You really need to spend some time here. Make sure you get your account set up properly. Okay, so again, we could do maybe cost of goods sold. What detail types go with cost of goods sold? Okay, so we want to set an account type, a detail type. Now the name defaults to whatever the detail type is we selected, but we can change that to anything we want to. So we can say, you know, I don't know, maybe we'll call this cost of direct labor or something like that. We can set up an account number since we have account numbers turned on, and then we can give it a description. Okay, and that's all there is to, to setting up an account. So I'm not going to save this, I'm just going to cancel, but you'll want to hit save and close. Okay, that's how you set up an account. What about editing an account? Well, let's say we want to edit this 
petty cash account because actually it looks like it's set up wrong. So this says bank, but checking. It's not a checking account. So let's go to find the line, go to the drop down, go to edit. Okay, so we have account type bank and that actually is correct for cash accounts and we can click on the detail type and we can change it to cash on hand. Okay, so we've edited this account. We can save and close it. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay, so we've learned how to add accounts. We've learned how to edit accounts. Now what about deleting accounts? So let's uh, choose the account. Let's say like this money market account. Um, actually, let's choose this checking account. Okay, and then we go over here, click the drop down arrow, and we can make inactive. Now notice we can't delete it. And the reason we can't delete it is there's transactions already recorded in that account. If you were to delete the account, the transactions would get deleted and your books would be out of balance. Okay, so you can't delete an account that has transactions. The best you can do is to make the account inactive. And here it's going to ask, are you sure you want to make it inactive? If you know you don't want to use the account in the future, then you can click yes. I'm just going to click no here because I don't want to make this inactive. Okay? That's as close as you can get to deleting an account. Now, if you try to do that with an account where there hasn't been any transactions, you should be able to delete it just fine. But if there has been transactions, you can only make it inactive. Okay, great. So we've learned how to add accounts. We've learned how to edit accounts. We've learned how to delete accounts. There's one thing I want to share here with you. So we've talked a lot about the account type and the detail type. So I'm going to slide into the screen here. This is the uh, printed version of this QuickBooks Online tutorial. So um, all of the videos you see, we have 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials. Every one of those also has a written tutorial that goes with it. You can find these by searching Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. This tutorial is actually very helpful because it has a table here that shows you the most common account types that you need to set up. So you'll need to set up a bank cash on hand, a bank checking, an accounts receivable. If you have inventory, you need to set up an inventory and so forth. And so I can kind of scroll through it here. Maybe you'll want to pause your screen um, and be able to read them that way. But otherwise, if you want to find this lesson, it's very easy. Again, Google Fit Small Business Set Up Chart of Accounts, and it should bring up this lesson as the first lesson. Okay, great. So let me slide that back out of the way. Now, the last thing we have to cover is how to import your chart of accounts. So first, you're going to have to export it from your old software. And I can't tell you how to do that because I don't know what software you used. But um, maybe you can Google help if you need it. But usually most software somehow will allow you to export your chart of accounts. Once you get that into either a CSV file or an Excel file, or a Google spreadsheet, you can then import it into QuickBooks. So to do that, we're going to go up here, but instead of clicking new, click the drop down, and that gives you import. So I'm going to click on import, and it brings up a screen. Very simple process. You upload the spreadsheet, you map the data, so that's just telling it which columns go into which fields in QuickBooks, and then you import it. So here you select your spreadsheet. It's very nice. They give you a pre they give you a sample so you know exactly how to format your spreadsheet. So let's click on this. So we want one column that we call account number, another column account name, another column is type, and the final column detail type. So remember type and detail type are specified by QuickBooks, so you need to make sure that these match one of the QuickBooks categories exactly. Okay? If you have additional columns, that's absolutely fine. They just won't transfer in to QuickBooks. So let's close that. So when you're ready to actually do this, you're just going to hit connect and choose a Google spreadsheet, or you can hit browse and find the CSV or Excel file on your computer. Oh, one thing of note they don't tell you is uh, make sure your chart of accounts spreadsheet is on the first tab of your workbook. workbook. Right, so if you have a Google Sheet or Excel, there's tabs across the bottom. Make sure that what you want to transport in, transfer in, is actually on the first tab. QuickBooks only looks at the first tab. Okay, so select your file here. Click Next. It'll ask you how to map 
those columns into QuickBooks fields. If you've labeled the columns like we just talked about, it'll be automatic. It'll read those labels. It'll know where to map each column. Hit continue again and it'll import your accounts. It's very, very simple. And that's it. So that's how to customize your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. Again, this is an incredibly important step. Uh, please spend a lot of time looking through those account types, detail types. Try to get everything set up correctly before you start making journal entries. Okay, well, I appreciate your time today and look forward to seeing you again in another QuickBooks Online tutorial by Fit Small Business.